<laughs> in more Kanye related news, Kim Kardashian celebrated her 40th birthday the other day. And I think I made some um, snarky joke about it on Instagram about, you know, just being annoyed seeing these random people who aren't celebrities wishing her happy birthday. and don't know her personally to me personally. Um, wishing somebody you don't know who happens to be a celebrity happy birthday is just as worse if not um if not on the same level as wishing yourself happy birthday you know people that do that on your social media feed who you know take a picture of a flute food of champagne or prosecco and then say happy birthday to me or take a picture of themselves in an amazing outfit and say my birthday suit right some people do a bit in a clever way they don't say happy birthday to me they say birthday suit they say oh um what do you call it thank god for blessing me for another year whatever some sort of phrase and then you hear just you just see choruses of people congratulating them on surviving another year right and it's just like what the fuck is this when did birthdays become such a public show of celebration they always in my opinion were little private moments that you could sort of like toast yourself and say wow i survived i hung on for another year here's to another year of prosperity here's to another year of struggling here's another year of still fighting of working hard whatever it may be but it was more of a private toast between you and maybe a close group of family and friends but this idea that you are celebrating in public with everybody as if it was some sort of achievement as if it's something worthwhile to even share you know we all have birthdays especially if you stay alive it's not that big of a deal and even if you pass some people have birthdays still they continue to celebrate um, their memory. Um, but again, you know, in this era that we live in at the moment where everyone is essentially their own um, personal reality TV show, it makes complete sense why people want to make um, such a minute and pretty much irrelevant occasion in their life something that can be broadcast all over the place to maybe elevate and kind of, you know, uh, showcase their wealth and maybe their group of friends, blah, de, blah, blah, blah. So it's no surprise that somebody like a Kim Kardashian decided to tell the entire world that she was going to celebrate her 40th birthday on a private island with some of her closest and best friends. And it to be to say it wasn't received well on the social media is an understatement everyone sort of kind of you know poking fun at it some people are getting really really angry and really upset which is really weird she's a celebrity she's rich beyond her wildest dreams so is her entire family i don't know what people expected her to do what stay at home order pizza and watch netflix that's not happening if she has the means and the possibilities to do so she's gonna go out there and celebrate her birthday in a most epic way and if anything as well we should not be surprised because in my experience of what i've seen so far the pandemic has probably widened the um wealth inequality around the world but the 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 gap between the haves and the have nots have been really really magnified during covid right if you're able to basically weather the storm of not being able to sell um provide services or make any kind of money during covid right it's really gonna well if yeah if you if you're able to survive this period it definitely shows where you fall in terms of like the wealth ladder right how far up and down you are and if you're really struggling and you have to turn up to work and go work in a mcdonald's drive through or some other um lowly service industry job it definitely shows where you are too so i'm assuming you wouldn't be surprised when you see something like Kim Kardashian deciding to fly half her family out to a flipping private island somewhere to celebrate her birthday and get test, you know, 24 hours before she heads out there. It's completely understandable, um, especially as well considering what's happening in the world. But anyway, the tweet itself that went viral was the following. It said, Kim Kardashian post here, um, 40 and feeling so humbled and blessed. There is not a single day that I take for granted, especially during these times when we're all reminded of the things that truly matter, right? And I'm not, is that the one where she, yeah, da, da, da. and there's an image here of her and her family um, posing on the beach, of course, having a hell of a time, her in her birthday suit looking absolutely impeccable. I'm pretty sure she made sure she didn't have any carbs before this week because she looks really, really tight all over the place. So I make grand gestures for that. The next following tweet from Kim is the following. It says, for my birthday this year, I couldn't think of a better way to spend it um, than with some of the people that who have helped and shaped and made me into the woman I am today. And that you've got some images, of course, with some, I guess, old school friends from back in the day because they look a little bit, you know, normal i'd say right they look less enhanced and then the next image we have some more enhanced friends or friends that look a bit more shiny have that celebrity look towards them 
and it continues let's go to the next one that's causing her rage and she says before covid i don't think any of us truly appreciate what a simple luxury it is to be able to travel and be able together with family and friends and safe environment <laughs> again i love the i love the refusal to read the room from people of wealth and notoriety why would you read the room if you can just go and book a holiday and a private jet somewhere to a private island and kind of insulate yourself from the hate of others if you're rich you keep on getting richer so there's an image here again with someone another shiny looking person who's definitely a newer friend another shining adult male all looking good and fantastic we continue on so she says after two weeks of multiple health screens and asking everyone to quarantine i surprised my closest inner circle with a trip to a private island where we could pretend things were normal just for a brief moment in time which you know if if there ever was a representation of real privilege this is it right um it's interesting that she said this was a surprise event considering that she asked her friends for two weeks to do multiple health screens and asked them to quarantine prior i'm sure people are i'm sure there's someone out there is going to be combing their social media feeds to find evidence of people who were gallivanting around town for the two weeks um within that two-week window so that's interesting and if there is a if there ever was a uh, proof photographic proof of the privilege this is it right look look in the background of one of these pictures look at one of the servers there having to wear a mask i'm sure the other people yeah i'm sure they probably did tests as well but to be at this private island and having to wear a mask and serve some of the higher ups here right you got a little cherub boy here filling his cheeks with uh copious amounts of double cheeseburgers it must be a real pain in the ass and neck. <laughs> but what can you do next one she said we dance rode bikes uh swam near whales kayaked and watched a movie on a beach and so much more yeah i'm sure so much more um i realized that most for most of us this is something that is so far out of reach right now so in moments like this i'm humbled and reminded of how privileged my life is so you, kim had to get to her 30th birthday party on a private island to realize that she has a privileged life yeah. The, the oblivious there's something so admirable about being this obliviously rich it just must be so great to wake up and just not have to worry about anyone apart from yourself and your family members under your roof like genuinely not have a care in the world um it's again it's admirable that she does what she does you know in terms of uh freeing people from prison um which was it called was it called prison reform that she's kind of spearheading and you know whatever other projects she does outside of it and obviously running a tight household having a big family i think that's a good message to spread out there the fact that she's in a committed relationship family affair da, 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 da. but the ability to just you know just tap out and just go and do what you want um, must be so freeing that's a because that's where the term fuck you money comes from in it because this is basically it this is fuck you and again it's also interesting because she's done a lot of good during covid right kim's kept her head down she's been a loyal ride or die bitch of kanye who's been freaking out all over the place talking openly about her abortions and all this sort of madness right and she's hanging there she's been a real ride or die b-i-t-t-h and she's got her own money she can't ever say that she's there for the clout because you know some people would argue she's probably um diminishing her star somewhat by being associated with kanye and then everyone will forget about all that stuff the moment they see these pictures because they don't fit into their current narrative of what they wanted to do but it's also it, probably the best idea for her to put the pictures out of herself and make this whole thread because more likely than not press would have gone out there or paparazzi or someone would have found footage of them partying and it would have been worse so to just get out in front and say hey i, I did have a party, i did do my thing here are the images you know do it as you please i think it's probably the best way to have gone about it and then here is an image finally of the cake and whatever it may be and finally to end it and of course people are not happy you know immediately the replies i leave this tweet right now with the face it says happy birthday i hope someone got you an alphabet book as a gift so you can learn to read the room which is a great one it said we some people are posting images of mass graves with the tweet <laughs> which is flipping insane another one says hi pause i know you're hurting right now and can't figure out how you're going to feed your family but please enjoy these photos of my family expensive vacation i know i'm lucky to be so fabulously wealthy so i'll make mention of it uh, to sound sympathetic and again it's like it's really impossible to be rich. that's why I, I appreciate people who are rich especially the ones that just don't speak and don't you know uh, make themselves accountable to the world and just kind of live their lives because it's very difficult 
to be that wealthy and also try and appear normal right and try and have some semblance of um uh, relatability it's just impossible there's no way you can do it because your entire life is one big privilege cake and you're just eating it every single day not gaining a pound right the moment you you know you can change your face seven million times like chloe kardashian does you can just change your entire appearance like a kylie jenner or kendall kylie like a kylie jenner you can um set up an entire empire of you know makeup and body improvement things and whatever cosmetic goods and just essentially provide you know a nest egg from generation generations to come it's really difficult to appear somewhat normal right and somewhat um yeah, just somewhat normal and every day it's hard it's really difficult and there's this other one kim the people are dying <laughs> so humble they're reminded and this is excellent picture so i'm gonna actually get printed with stop uh, getting covid which is definitely gonna be a good one this iconic picture of Paris Hilton parting somewhere with a vest that says stop being poor which is absolutely epic and then we continue another one that private island has staff that staff has family and you put them in jeopardy because you went to pretend it was normal again which is a bit of a stretch i think if you're screening everybody and you're getting tests and you're basically making sure everyone that's going out there is negative it's the same like what they're doing with the ufc right the people that are doing the catering at the ufc have families too the people that are doing the catering for the footballers have families but if they're able to limit the amount of exposure they have to outside world before they head off to the island it should be pretty, pretty much okay again is it a good use of resources and people's time probably not but i'm assuming the people that are working the staff are probably well compensated i'm sure they were tipping them pretty well if they're not they're cut fucking cunts but i think they were so i'm sure the staff and the waiters weren't really that aggrieved right because they're able to put food in their table or food in the plate of the, the table of their family due to this one um it's very special 40th birthday um Y'all had two weeks of multiple testing. Most can't get one done, Kim. People haven't hugged their parents since February. People have died. <laughs> People have died in hospital alone. Nurses are using FaceTime so that patient can hear the words of comfort, hear how much they there. The family member can just say goodbye while you jet off on vacation. Again, all valid points, but like I said, I just think it's going to fall on deaf ears if you have that kind of level of wealth and money and you truly believe birthdays are important. Because this again, this is all our problem. This is what I thought. We've kind of glorified and, you know, put on the pulpit or put on some sort of pedestal, you know, gender reveals, engagement announcements, new job, uh, promotion things. They all turn into these kind of weird social media celebration um, points, right? So it's no surprise that celebrities are also kind of capitalizing and jumping on that trend and deciding no it's my 40 if it's a big year for me four zero whatever i don't know what that means if you're a celebrity it doesn't really matter really because you don't really age right you can always reverse uh, um, the hands of time you know with copious amounts of chromatic surgery and whatnot but she wanted to celebrate her big birthday and again what did you expect she's not going to be sitting at home ordering takeaway um, it continues here kindly go fuck yourself martha kelly and this is a photo of americans waiting in line for a food bank it's a privilege not to have to do this perhaps a birthday post wishing everyone in america who is not you good health and safety and security this time instead tone deaf much that's very true in it she could have got a lot of points doing that in it just a picture of her and her family like you know staying indoors and running everyone to stay safe and vote that would have been great in it that would have been such a killer but again Everyone's had to do what they want to do. Holy night, a bomb there. Someone says, here, yeah, Kim, America, I humbly ask you to keep yourself and your humbleness and your husband on a private island with no sex until the end of time. <laughs> oh, people are mad. When my dad died of COVID, oof, I couldn't even see him at hospital. The only time I did is at a funeral, 250 people dead, millions of people out of jobs, homelessness, evictions, food banks are at an all-time high, and you have the nerve to post this. How about out of touch are you? Very much so, and there's a meme here, so I just want to say that you are a horrible, horrible person. Oh, my God, man. Again, but nothing's ever going to change, isn't it? Life is ever going to change, really. They, they, these people have kind of told us consistently who they are and showed us who they are. So I don't really know people are surprised. Like choose your idols and choose your heroes carefully and again most of this wealth has come through the hands and through the eyeballs of people constantly tuning into the stuff that they produce uh buying into the stuff that they put out there so you can only blame yourself in it when they turn back and essentially spit in your face but again i could give less of a shit i that's to be expected when you have fucking money you're gonna do fuck you stuff she's kim kardashian west what else did you expect her to do